Welcome to the Virtually Connected, everybody. My name is Tim Sandy, and I'm a VMware Technical Partner Manager and Systems Engineer. In this session today, I'm going to do a sales overview of what's new in vSphere 6.5. As you may know, in last week at VMworld Barcelona 2016, we made the announcement of our new vSphere 6.5 version. Okay. So in this session, again, I'm going to talk about what's new in vSphere 6.5 just from a sales perspective. And I'm going to talk about things such as simplified user experience, built-in security, and universal app platform are some of the major uh, categories that where we've made enhancements and improvements to the vSphere product line. So with that, let's get started. So again, we're going to talk about what's new with vSphere 6.5 from a sales overview perspective. So VMware enables a software-defined approach to business and IT that accelerates our customers' digital transformation to cloud computing so they can compete and succeed in the digital economy. The challenge of digital transformation is building and managing a platform that incorporates private, public, and hybrid clouds. Only VMware helps enterprises deliver on all their key business priorities and IT imperatives as they make this transition. This digital transformation begins with the establishment of a powerful, flexible, and secure foundation for business agility. This next-gen infrastructure must support both existing apps and meet the broader requirements of next-gen apps as well. Those foundational requirements include a simplified user experience, using automation and management at scale, a comprehensive built-in security by securing data, the infrastructure, as well as securing access, and then also universal app platform, which allows you to run any app from anywhere. So to simplify what's new in vSphere 6.5, we can break the advancements down into three primary categories. The first is with dramatically simplified the experience which makes IT more efficient from the administration perspective. The second is we've added comprehensive built-in security to secure your entire data center. And third is that it provides a universal application platform to provide you with the ability to run applications anywhere. So let's take a closer look into each one of these areas. We dramatically simplified the experience by simplifying the architecture itself. vSphere 6.5 makes the vCenter server appliance the fundamental building block of a vSphere environment. The core vSphere architecture is built around this easy to deploy and manage approach and reduces complexity by embedding functionality in a central location. The patching, upgrading, backup and recovery, high availability, and much more are available and simpler in this new model. Then with streamlined operations, We've added additional appliance monitoring and configuration improvements. We have native high availability or HA for the appliance that's built into it. Also a native backup and restore functionality for the appliance that makes protecting it easier than ever. And migrations and one-click patching greatly reduces the time to do these operational tasks. Then we improve the user experience. And we did this with the new HTML5 based vSphere web client which provides a modern user interface that is both responsive and easy to use in addition to being based on an industry standard. The new REST-based APIs vastly improve both user and partner experience and enable finer control of virtual infrastructure for those modern apps. In vSphere 6, we saw performance and scalability parity for the vCenter server appliance when compared to its Windows-based counterpart. With vSphere 6.5, we now see feature parity and even new features that are exclusively to the vCenter server appliance. So let's take a quick look at each of these new features before addressing them in more detail. First, we have the vCenter high availability, which is native HA solution built right into the appliance. Using an active, passive, and witness architecture, vCenter is no longer a single point of failure and can provide a five minute recovery time objective or RTO. This high availability compatibility is available out of the box and has no dependency in shared storage, external databases, or anything like that. Next, we have the integration of VMware Update Manager into the vCenter server appliance. Some customers have been holding off on migrating to the vCenter server appliance due to the last dependencies on having a Windows machine. 
Now VMware Update Manager is included by default into the vCenter server appliance and makes deployment and configuration a snap. Another exclusive feature of the vCenter server appliance 6.5 is the improved appliance management capabilities. The vCenter server appliance management interface continues its evolution and exposes additional health and configuration information. The simpler user interface now shows network and database statistics, disk space, and health in addition to CPU and memory statistics, which reduces the reliance on using a command line interface for simple monitoring and operational tasks. Finally, VMware has added a native backup and restore capability to the vCenter server appliance to allow for simple out-of-the-box backup options in addition to the traditional supported methods including VMware data protection. This new backup and restore mechanism allows customers to use a simple user interface to remove reliance on third-party backup solutions to protect their vCenter servers and the platform service controllers. As a reminder though, these new features are only available in the vCenter server appliance and not in the Windows version of vCenter. vSphere 6.5 natively provides secure data, secure infrastructure, and secure access. Protecting all three areas is required for the digital transformation and evolution of any given business. To secure data, vSphere 6.5 offers a new VM level encryption capability designed to protect against unauthorized data access. When used with vSphere vMotion, this capability safeguards both the data at rest and data in motion. To secure infrastructure, vSphere 6.5 adds a secure boot model to make sure images have not been tampered with and to prevent the loading of unauthorized vSphere components. To secure the access, vSphere 6.5 provides multi-factor authentication. You can now configure vCenter permissions to require two-factor authentication using both a password and a smart card or an RSA key. Plus, vSphere 6.5 offers enhanced audit quality logging capabilities that provide more information about user actions. It can now access audible trails if an investigation into anomalies or security threats is required. Of course, the big question you may ask is, is the pricing and packaging changing with vSphere 6.5? And the answer is no, it's not. As you see, vSphere and vCenter standard editions provide the capabilities to use the new vCenter server high availability, backup restore, and migration tools. With vSphere Enterprise Plus and vCenter standard, it adds the new proactive high availability for vSphere, VM encryption, encrypted vMotion, and vSphere integrated containers. But again, there's no pricing or packaging changes. So that completes this session. I hope the information that I present to you is valuable to you. And as you see on this slide, I have my links to all my social media outlets, such as my YouTube page, which is potentially where you, you're watching this from, as well as my Twitter page, my LinkedIn account, as well as my website and blog site. Feel free to go out to these sites, use these for VMware resources for you for both sales and technical information, videos, content, there's a lot of information out there that I like to share to help you. So please go out and visit any one of my social media sites. And I do recommend that you go ahead and follow me on them. Then that way you're notified as I publish new types of content on my pages. So again, thank you very much for joining me today. And I hope you have a wonderful day.